I'm Don Horman. I manage the Equipment Restoration Center at the NEAT Center at Oak Hill. Today I'd like to show you how to clean a basic piece of medical equipment, a folding walker. First thing you want to do is select an area with adequate lighting, good ventilation, and enough room to do the job. Now I've already assembled most of the things that I'll need to do the job. Simple tools, a plier, screwdriver, these brushes are great. The nylon brushes don't damage the equipment and they get nice and close. This is a soft bristle wire brush made of brass. That's excellent for getting in the little crevices without doing damage to the piece of equipment. Rubber gloves protect you. Some of the cleaning solutions we use will either harm you or harm your clothing. So sometimes an apron is recommended. We also use Q-tips for the final cleaning into the crevices. First thing you want to do is inspect the piece of equipment. Make sure you have all the parts. Once you determine that the whole thing is here, then you can start taking it apart and cleaning the parts. Individual stickers, anything with a person's name on it or a vendor, you want to get those off. Leave the manufacturer's stickers or any warning labels on. Best thing to do is remove the walker attachments, the, the wheels, because the future user is going to adjust this and you don't want them to see any dirt that might have stayed behind. So we're going to clean the wheels. Ordinary household cleaner works. Give it a good spray. Use the stiff bristle brush. Make sure you get in the crevices. You can even submerge this in water. This does have moving parts, but water won't hurt it. Once we dry this off, we'll put it back together again. Sometimes hair and other foreign particles get stuck in moving parts. Take the wheel off. This doesn't require any lubrication. Just needs to be clean. When you put this back together, you'll notice you can tighten it too tight and the wheel won't roll. So you need to tighten it just enough and then back up a little bit so it rolls freely. Perfect. While you're cleaning, be sure to pay special attention to these little locking knobs. They get corroded and they get dirty and a person's going to be touching that every time they adjust the length of this thing. Probably the best way to clean it is with a soft bristle wire brush or you can actually get in there with a pair of diagonal or needle nose pliers pull it out, polish it on a wire wheel, and put it back in. I use the nylon brush for the little crevices, the little pieces. I want to make sure it's as clean as possible. Be generous with your cleaning solution, especially when you get to the handles. This is where all the germs are. So be sure to spend extra time cleaning the entire handle. After it's all clean, then you want to go around making sure that all the screws are tight. Anything that was assembled, making sure they're all tight, there's no wobbling, there's no creaking or squeaking, and you'll be ready to put it back together. Now that the walker is all reassembled and all perfectly clean, now you want to make sure you keep it in an area that's separate from any other dirty objects so there's no cross-contamination. And the best way is to cover it with a plastic bag. Put it right over the top, keeps the dust off, keeps the germs off. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me at the NEAT Center at Oak Hill.